NYIT is a global private institution with seven campuses around the world. Our mission is to provide career-oriented professional education, to give opportunity to qualified students, and to work on applications-based research for the betterment of the world. We firmly believe that technology is a way to empower students to be better learners. Our Masters of Instructional Technology program was designed in response to the needs of schools to have people in within the district who are specialists in the application of technology for teaching and learning. The Masters in Instructional Technology program is a preparation program for how to use technology in the classroom. It's relevant to all the content areas. It prepares the teachers to be the experts in their building and to um, take the risk and take the initiative and the, learn about innovations as they come so that they understand that it's not overwhelming but it's something that they can just keep learning and learning and learning so it becomes a lifelong experience and energizer for them. Our world is digital. Um, everything we do from day to day now uh, is on the computer, uh, on the internet. I prefer all my papers to just be gone. Uh, so I think students are kind of moving in that direction as well. They really respond to it because it's something that uh, younger generations, mainly high school students now, have grown up with, are very comfortable with it, and frankly I think it's an expectation. We are very closely aligned with business partners, with agencies, with cultural institutions to enrich the, the learning environment for students by being able to provide them with resources that they can use in their own classrooms. The Educational Enterprise Zone at MYIT is a piece of magic. It allows us to work with the very best museums and cultural institutions in this country to bring that content into schools and fire the imagination of teachers and students. So whether that comes out of the Smithsonian or whether that comes out of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, we're able to bring the most powerful, relevant content directly into schools. And at the same time, empower those institutions to think forward in terms of the use of technology. In today's schools, it's becoming an increasing challenge for teachers to deal with students who have learning difficulties. One of the most interesting projects we're working with right now is something that we call NeuroET for Educational Technology. We're taking the quantitative and self intellectual and self grammar, the QEEG. We're using that for educational neuroscientific purposes. And we're using it in the context of real-time instructional applications. And there's really no one else doing that right now. It's, it's taking this technology, which can monitor exactly what's going on in the brain in the moment, and give that information to the teacher and to the student while they're engaged in learning activities so that they can maximize their effectiveness. Bullying isn't, isn't anything new. Bullying's been around for a long time. It's now using technology and the extent to which that message can be sent out to so many different people all at the same time really has brought the issue of bullying closer and closer to the forefront. We're developing an avatar system where students who are engaged in K-12 education are going to be creating their own scenarios around bullying. By using avatars, the young people, the children in elementary, middle, and high schools will be able to develop their own scenarios. They'll be able to interact. The bully, the victim, and the bystanders. They'll be able to explore alternative ways of behavior in, in, in a way that makes sense to them. When it comes from the students themselves and they're able to interact with each other, students will become empowered to think about alternatives. They're going to develop better coping and resiliency skills, and we think that will happen because they'll see there are alternative ways of addressing situations. Our primary goal is to have our students rethink their behavior, understand how to respect themselves, and if they respect themselves, how to respect others. Technology has come to the point where now it's easier for students to use technology, our students, 
and to have them use technology with their own students. And it's making it easier to use technology as a creative tool rather than just a piece of hardware.